Hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, your boy, Irobisco, and I'm back with yet another tutorial video today. This is the first of a few that I'm working on right now to show my appreciation for 1k subs. To this day, I still cannot believe it myself, but honestly, I only have all you to thank. You are truly the best subs anyone could ever ask for, and the truest legends of the land, if I don't say so myself. Let's make 2022 a memorable one together and make some amazing content. I took screenshots since about 100 subs only months ago and I am astounded at how fast our little family is growing. You all truly make my day every day, just like I hope I make your day at least a little better too. If you haven't joined the family yet, then please consider doing me the greatest solid by pickaxing the like and sub button down below. Because we're always having a blast here in Irobisco land and all of my videos premieres. Thanks for your consideration. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how to get custom modded Minecraft worlds on your Xbox using your phone. Specifically .mc world file types because I feel like I kind of missed a few things in my last how to download Minecraft worlds video. I've gotten a few questions on it too. So I wanted to make sure I covered everything I missed in this one and also give you all the knowledge I can. Hope you're all excited as I am. Oh boy, I'm practically shaking in my netherite boots. But I think it's about time to get this party started. Thank you all so much for watching. Now let's cue that intro and I'll be back with you in just a second. Alright, to start things off, you can use whatever preferred web browser you'd like, but I personally use the free version of the internet browser app on Xbox. It's one of the only ones that actually allows you to access your internet downloads and it's safe to use, so I find it to be one of the best ones for Xbox, or at least for me. Once you've opened up your preferred web browser, type the following link in the URL or search bar. Gamer13.github.io That's gamr 13git hub.io If you can't access the search bar or find your cursor, try pressing select or move around your right stick after pressing B. This should fix that issue. Once you load into this GitHub webpage, we're going to go ahead and download the FTP app found towards the bottom of this page. After pressing the download button, this should bring you to the Microsoft Marketplace page for the app on Xbox. Here you can download the app, but if it's not there for some reason, check back after a day or so and it should be there. The dev is always continuously re-uploading their content. If you get the chance, please consider visiting their social media links as well, as they are a huge contributor to the Xbox modding community. As always, a huge shout out to them for their hard work and efforts for us all. The FTP app allows us to set up a local connection between our phone and Xbox, which then allows us to see and access your Xbox's files, then upload files to them. Once you manage to download the Durango FTP app, please open it up so I can show you some settings and how to initiate a safe local connection for your phone to link up to. Upon opening up your new app, you'll see a numeric field for a port number, a checkbox option for an anonymous connection, a network name and a password option, and lastly your Xbox's name and IP address. For today's example, I want you to leave the port number as 21, uncheck the allow anonymous box, make your username and password whatever you'd like, but to make it easy for both, just go ahead and make it lowercase ftp and then press the start button. This will initiate a local network and will allow you to make a connection to it using another device like a phone for instance. Please keep note of your Xbox's IP address because I promise we're going to need it for later. However, before we do that, we're going to have to download a free app on our phone from the Google Play Store to assure that this whole process goes off without a hitch. Now let's go ahead and go over there, download that app, download the modded map Sky Factory version 5, and show you how to use the apps to upload a modded map to your Xbox. As a quick note, please be sure to keep your Xbox and the Durango FTP app running while you perform these next steps. Because if your Xbox goes asleep, the connection will be discontinued. Just move around your Xbox controller joystick occasionally and check up on it, just to make sure it doesn't go to sleep. Alright, so first off, let's download that free app on your phone and show you how to use that app to make the whole thing work. The app that you'll actually need is popping down here on the left side of the screen called And FTP. It's the one I personally use, but I've also heard some people getting CX File Explorer to work too. Once you know what you're actually doing, you can really sail through this whole process and almost seamlessly to get mods onto your Xbox. 
anyways, now that you've downloaded and FTP, let's open it up on your phone so we can officially establish that safe and local connection between your Xbox and Android. When you open up the app, you're going to go ahead and see some options, but I want you to press on the plus or add button in the upper middle portion of the app. This will bring you to the following page where you'll fill out some info about the local FTP connection. Next, I want you to type in your Xbox's IP address into the hostname field. If you don't remember from before, you can find it in the Xbox's Durango FTP app under your Xbox's name section. Then go ahead and type 21 in for your port number, type in your username and password for your connection. For example, it was the all lowercase FTP FTP. And then lastly, go to the advanced settings tab and switch the passive setting to say active and then finally press the save button. If you remember to keep your Xbox from going to sleep and left your FTP app running, this should then put the FTP app listed as a folder in the middle of your app screen. If you didn't happen to name the connection, then it should default to your Xbox's IP address listed underneath that folder. This will now allow us to access our Xbox's game folders and upload modded custom worlds to their appropriate com.mojang folders. Speaking of custom worlds, it's time to hop on over to a reliable site and download the Sky Factory version 5 map, or whatever other map you'd like to. To download a free custom world like Sky Factory, we're going to go ahead and go to mcpedl.com, or what I like to say, mcpedal.com, and search Sky Factory in the search bar. It should be the first option and listed as version 5. To access the world's page, proceed to click on the world's thumbnail or screenshot. Once you're here, I suggest checking out the screenshots and reading up more on the world, but to access the download link, you're going to need to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the McPedal page and click on the colored download hyperlink. This will bring you real quick to a page letting you know that you're leaving McPedal.com. Please go ahead and press continue and this will take you to Vatnage's website, who is a fantastic content creator who I highly suggest checking out sometime because he's a talented mod developer and a content creator. Here you're going to once again want to scroll down towards the bottom of the screen and bat in the GIST website page and press the download add-on option in red. Please click on this and it will take you immediately to the Modpacks Mediafire link, which I so highly appreciate that I don't actually have to show you how to get past those pesky link for ties pages, because let's be honest, none of us likes them. Anyways, to download the world, go ahead and press the blue download button to begin the download process onto your phone. For most Android or Samsung phone users, you should have an app pre-installed on your phone named My Files, and this is where you should find the download and one of the ways you can actually access that download for the next steps. If your phone doesn't have a great standard file app, you can always download some sort of file master or file extraction app from your phone's marketplace. However, if you do have an app like My Files, your world download should show up in your downloads folder. Luckily, if you are using an Android or Samsung phone, extracting and transferring files using the AndFTP app is pretty easy, no matter the file type. However, when it comes to iPhones, it's a bit trickier for worlds and I'm still working on it as promised. However, for today's example, Sky Factory is a modded map with many mods and resource packs attached, making it an MC world file type. We're going to have to go to the Sky Factory download, hold down on the file, this should add a check mark next to the file, and now you need to go ahead and press on the options button. For me, that's the button with the three dots in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, and then press the extract option. This should unpack the .zip or MC world into your downloads folder, and should appear as a single folder that you can actually access and see what it is inside. Speaking of which, once you do successfully extract the file, you should be able to click into your new Sky Factory folder and see the folders and files inside. Since it's a modded world, you should have a resource packs folder, behavior packs folder, and much more. Also, please always keep in mind that you are modifying the base game of Minecraft and that you're also modding the game at your own risk. If you are not satisfied with the performance of your game after this or the functionality after downloading particular mods or worlds, and following this entire process, you can always use the FTP apps to delete the files from their various locations and reverse what you've done. Anyways, enough of that, back to the task at hand. Now that we've extracted our world folder, I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to your phones and FTP app. Now that you've successfully downloaded your world and extracted your world, I can now show you how and what folder we're going to go ahead and upload it to. When inside the and FTP app, 
Go ahead and click on your connection folder in the middle of the app screen. Once you load to the next page, we're going to go ahead and navigate to your com.mojang folder and add your downloaded map mod pack from your phone to the Minecraft Worlds folder. And to start this, select the local folder in all caps from the screen, then scroll down through the list of folders on the next page till you see the Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console folder. Please click on that. Then press on the local state option from the next list of folders, then select games, then finally com.mojang folder. This will bring you to the list of Xbox folders you need to have access to in order to upload free online content like Extracted Minecraft Worlds to your Xbox. Now let's place our Extracted World mod pack from our phone into the appropriate folder of our Xbox. Begin this whole process by pressing on the Minecraft Worlds folder and leave it opened. As this lets our app know where we would like our upload to happen via our FTP connection. Now please take a look at the top of the app screen where you'll find a button that looks like a phone. Select that and this should bring you into your phone's various files. Please know that if the phone button doesn't show up for you, you may have to give permissions of the app to your phone. However, you'll want to go to whatever folder you extracted your world's files into. If you follow today's process in my example, your modded world folder should be in your phone's downloads folder in your My Files app. On this page, scroll down and select the downloads folder, then find the world folder you extracted. Now select on the extracted Sky Factory folder by holding down on it, and then this should put a green check mark to the left of your file. This is essentially marking the file you would like to upload to your Xbox. Finally, select the button that has an upwards arrow with an underline marked underneath of it. Doing this will cause the app to ask you if you'd like to proceed with your upload. Here you may press OK and this will begin the upload. When you press OK, you should notice activity both on your FTP app and on your Xbox's Durango FTP app at the same exact time. This lets you know that the files are being successfully transferred over to your Xbox's Minecraft Worlds folder. And please note that depending on the size of the world or file, this may take quite some time. For example, Sky Factory may take as long as 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your connection of course. Unfortunately, this is simply due to the large amount of mods associated with the map, and you have to transfer every single one of these behavior and resource packs over to your Xbox. But I assure you as always my friends, the forbidden fruit of mods has never tasted so good. Anyways, after the upload is finished, the app will prompt you and ask you to press OK. And like magic, you've now successfully added a world from online to your Xbox's game files. Tell me, are you feeling good? Because I know I am. I almost feel like we are really starting to master this whole Minecraft modification thing. And at the same time, building a really great community here on my channel, which I couldn't thank you all enough for. Please be on the lookout for a future video where I'll be actually showing you how to make your resource packs go global. At the same time, I plan on doing a thousand sub giveaway to show my appreciation for all of you beautiful people out there. Let's get to 5k by the end of 2022, grow our community, and hopefully bring a lot more smiles to all of your faces. But now that we've loaded up our Minecraft and allowed our game to fully sync, you should be able to see your modded world inside your list of worlds inside your Minecraft menu. And also, its experimental settings should already be appropriately set up for you. How cool is that? We downloaded a super amazing free and custom Minecraft world from online, uploaded it to our Xbox, and played it inside our Minecraft game. Oh, I'm just so happy to keep providing you all these up-to-date and entertaining content as much as I possibly can, and hope to do a lot more of it in the future. If you'd like to support me and the growth of our channel here, then do me the greatest solid by pickaxing the like and sub button down below. It really does mean the world to me, contributes to the growth of our channel here, and lets me know that you'd like to see a lot more of this kind of content. Anyways, I think that's about all the time and info I have to share with you today, but tell you what, as always, I've had a blast making it, and if you made it this far into the video, then I want to personally thank you and let you know that you are truly amazing. Before I let you go, please always remember that you're always beautiful and you deserve all of the happiness in the world. I hope you have an amazing one. This is iRobisco signing off. Thanks again for watching and see you till next time. Bye!